STEM is a great way to get those 21st century skills in. Um, great opportunities for them to collaborate and communicate. So at the beginning of the year, a lot of the times I will guide them a lot more. You'll see me walking around, prompting them, asking questions about those skills, um, asking things like, what can I, what can you do? You have something in your brain. How can you get what's in your brain out here for the rest of us to see? You've got great ideas. We just don't know how to make that happen. So I need you to communicate. I need you to get what's in here out um, and explain that there's different ways to do that. You might draw it. You might build it and show them. You might just talk about it. You might even write it down. Um, just how can you get what's in your brain out? That's communication. And then I might ask questions like, what are you really good at? Great, how can you use that skill to help your team? Um, or, yeah, we've tried that. That seems really mm, standard. Can you think of a better way to go about that? Or what else can you do? Or how can you make it different? So it's a lot of prompting at the beginning of the year. And then each time I step back a little more until the hope is that eventually at the end of the year, these students, these first grade students, are able to communicate and collaborate and work together, they are able to think through things critically um, and creatively without my support. So I just kind of stand back and let them have free reign and then step in as needed. Um, that being said, I do have a rubric that I use here. I know it's backwards for you. Um, it's more like a continuum. It's a progression, so it's not a letter grade. It's not a pass-fail, yes-no thing. Um, it's got the four C's. So communication, I can share my thoughts, ideas, and solutions. I can listen to others and get helpful feedback. Collaboration, I can work with a group to achieve a common goal. I can use my talents and knowledge to help my team. Critical thinking, I can look at problems in different ways and can apply what I know to new ideas and challenges. And creativity, I can use my imagination to come up with new ways to get things done or make something new. And so I actually, I do it for them, but I also have one for them to do themselves. And they just check here, not yet, starting to, or got it. So it's kind of a self-reflection as well, but also a way for me to kind of keep track of who is um, falling where on the continuum for each of the C's. And so I use that data to either form the groups next time or even just to pull aside and have a conversation or talk through it with them. Um, so the 21st century, is our skill, 21st century skills are alive and well, and um, I see them working in my classroom every day.